In this video, we're going to see how we can retrieve files from WhatsApp using our PC. So the first thing we need to do is to connect our smartphone to our PC. So this way we can get our images, uh, videos and uh, audios from WhatsApp. Now these videos were requested by a user. So you can see here, this is the smartphone. So the first thing you, you need to do is to do the USB debug and you need to allow the data transfer so that you can basically access your smartphone. And this is usually how it's gonna show up in the moment you will insert the USB cable. It's gonna ask you what you want to do is if you don't want to transfer anything, if you want to transfer files or if you want to transfer just pictures. So in this case, if you want to work with all the different file formats you can have, you need to uh, choose the file transfer, USB debug. So you can see here now that my phone is showing up in my computer explorer, in my Windows Explorer here. So it looks like a simple memory card or uh, whatever device like an hard disk or a solid state disk. So it's showing me how much free space I have and how much space I've already used. So it's basically detected as a standard uh, memory, as a standard um, space where I can access and check the folders. And this is basically what's inside my smartphone. So I can see the ringtones, the music, the download folder here, whatever I've downloaded from uh, inside my smartphone from the apps. And here, this is the DCIM folder is where usually the standard pictures are stored, like photo photos that I've taken with my smartphone. Now to access WhatsApp, there are many folders. Well, depending on the app, they can be stored uh, in different folders. Now in this case, if you go to pictures, you can see here Instagram, WhatsApp. Now, if you go here in this folder here, you will find usually the image of your profile. So just one image. You can double click and open it. You can download it. You can copy and paste. You can do whatever you usually do with your computer. You can drag it and drop it on your desktop. Do whatever you want. You can also change the way you can visualize files or you can also see some previews sometimes if the format is recognized. Now to go into WhatsApp, we need to go to Android folder. So double click on Android folder, go into media. And here you can see there are also Facebook and other social media, but you need to search for com.whatsapp. That's the folder that you want to go to if you want to access the WhatsApp files. So you double click. Again, double click on WhatsApp and here we have other uh, folders for WhatsApp. You need to go into media. This is where all the multimedia files are stored. And you can see here you have audios, you have images, you have stickers, voice notes, you have video and animated GIFs, documents, whatever. So in, in our case, if you want to check the images, you double click and you're gonna see the image. They are gonna start to appear as a preview if you wait, as a thumbnails. Just need to wait, change visualization type into icon. And here also we can access videos and audios, notes. So if you double click there, you can play all the different notes by just double clicking and using the standard Windows player, so you, you press play, you're gonna hear the audio that uh, you have recorded or some other people sent you. So all the files that you have in WhatsApp that you share with other people or other people share with you, you will find it here. And this is basically it for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to send us a little support, you can just join the channel as a supporter. So thanks for watching this video and see you in the next. If you have some comments, questions, suggestions, you can write it in the description below the video. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.